For us, it, it's always been job security. We under, we understood that you know residential is a great market, um, but because the green industry is so competitive, um, there is a lot of uh, different landscapers out there that care for uh, um, residential aspect. So for us, it was kind of the mentality that we wanted to go ahead and try to um, limit the competition, but also um, understand that it, these commercial projects were a little bit more um, uh, exclusive. And so having to acquire licenses, having to acquire insurances, um, not everyone is going to be able to do that or be willing to do that. And, and with that in mind, we decided to pursue uh, uh, the commercial uh, aspect of the, uh, um, the green industry. So we were able to make that decision right when, right after dad was um, coming, out, uh, um, coming out of the hospital, that that was our goal. And we saw the benefit from it before because when the, the housing bubble crashed, right before that happened, we actually, uh, we were able to contract our first um, commercial site. Um, uh, it was an apartment building. Um, it it, it um, was the first time we had ever gone into an office and we went in there and we did our pitch and a couple of weeks later we got the job. So when the housing bubble crashed, we noticed that a lot of people were letting their landscaping companies go because uh, a lot of people kind of had to make that sacrifice and have make cutbacks. But that's when we gained the understanding that in the commercial sector, you really don't have that option because aesthetically you still have to be appealing to potential customers, clients, tenants, uh, residents, whomever. So we never were in doubt that we were going to lose that property and so it kind of opened our eyes to understand that there was a little bit of more job security with the commercial aspects. We used to run um, walk behinds and then we got into uh, um, the larger walk behinds. Toro had a few uh, um, mowers that, that we appreciated because they actually transitioned us. Uh, but we finally were able to um, secure larger contracts and those mowers were not going to be able to um, give us the type of work we, we wanted to accomplish while also the time efficiency. And so we went to our local dealer here in Visalia, Jensen and Pillergard, and they were able to um, suggest to look into walker mowers. Um, we were looking at other mowers, uh, some that didn't have catchers, some that had catchers, um, but they really encouraged us to pursue walker mowers because of the reputation it had, you know, and also just, just the, the cleanliness, overall cleanliness and the work uh, efficiency that it had. So, um, they actually gave us a trial run for a few days and, and we took one out and when we took it out we were sold um, because of the the way that the design is for walker mowers it, it's just such a great design um, uh, during the fall time we're not having to uh, mulch stuff down and then blow it all off and and, and, and everything gets picked up gets cleaned up um, some of the attachments the features that, that, that the walker mower has were like the the, the catcher raises and dumps uh, you know that that's just convenient and, and a lot of us would know that you know having to pick stuff up off the ground you know it's one of those things where we're, we're um, it, it, it adds a little bit more workload, but having some of these features is nice. But um, but once we started running the, the equipment and started seeing how efficient it was, uh, we were sold. And, and I remember a few of our clients kind of came out and they acknowledged the fact that their lawns look a little, a little different because of the fact that, you know, the, the, the design of this and how it clean it left everything. Yeah. So once that was, we, 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 we purchased our first uh, walker mower around the year 2000. Since then, we've actually purchased five.